now with the three oxygen absorbers we pulled out, we're going to go ahead and just stick those inside of our Mylar bags, like so. Try to squeeze all the air out of it that you can. And then go ahead and continue to seal the remaining part of the Mylar bag. And while you're doing that guys, as a safety check for yourself, go ahead and reseal the other part too. Just to be sure, nothing's to be missed here. And then for extra security, you want to hit the corners too just a little bit. Flip it over, and you're going to do the same thing again. And you're going to want to do that for all three of your bags. And if you notice, being the smart people that we were, we were smart enough to seal above our little opening there. So that way we can still get to it without needing scissors, without needing a knife, in case you're on the road, you have to bug out. You don't have all your equipment. You can simply just rip off right below it. Once you finish sealing up your bags completely, you're gonna to wanna to do another sanity check. So you wanna take your bags of rice, you wanna hold it upside down to the side you actually sealed up. Just kinda of squeeze on it so. There's nothing coming out of it, no rice or air or anything. Then you did a fantastic job because you did exactly what you were supposed to do. Once you do that for all three bags, you can go ahead and grab item number seven, duct tape, along with item number eight, Sharpie. And you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna mark your bags as such. Now the rule is that Rice stored in Mylar bags with the appropriate amount of oxygen absorbers will last you 25 years. Me personally, I like to say five to 10 years. So I just put down the expiration date, December of 2017 through December of 2022, whatever I feel like opening up. And of course you mark with there, white rice. And I think it just has this extra safety precaution. Just make sure you put the duct tape on it and then write the marker on top of the duct tape. All right, once we've got our bags marked, we can go ahead and start storing our bags into our food grade bucket. So go ahead and take your food grade bucket. And you're gonna put your bags in there. And this is the reason why I like leaving the six inches in the bag as well. That is because it gives us space to where we can move around the rice inside the bag if need be. So we can fit three bags in there in our food grade buckets. Now this is gonna hold up the 20 pounds of white rice that you saw from the video. And anything else you can fit in that bucket, you possibly can. With that being said, it's also important that you take your scissors In the bags you took your rice from, you're going to go ahead and you're going to cut out the serving size. Because you never know, when stuff hits the fan, you might not exactly remember how much serving size there is for rice and water. So I say go ahead and take that, and then just store it in the bucket. Next, I would also recommend taking anything else you want the bag. If you want to take the caloric intake, I mean, it's your choice. If you want the cooking directions, the instructions if need be, go ahead and cut that out. And you can just insert that inside your bag as well. Once you've done all that, you're pretty much done. You just need to rip off the bottom part of this lid here. If you got the Lowe's lid, the Lowe's bucket, put the lid on top. You're just going to hammer that in with a rubber mallet until it gets nice and secure and then on the outside of the bucket you can mark on it 
The same as you did with the bags, white rice, 20 pounds, 2017 to 2022, or whatever year you choose to fix. Now remember, when I was talking about the 25 year mark, that's only for white rice. Brown rice probably has a storage date of about six months or so, only because it has fats and oils inside of it. So it's not going to preserve as long as white rice will. I hope this video was informative to you. And same as before, guys, rate, subscribe, leave comments, and look for more videos on the way. And I'll see you soon. Later.